Yeah, um, the chimera was just a combination of various animals, if I remember correctly. I don't see how that would uh, diminish women in any way. If anybody could explain that, I would be most grateful. Um, so, can we find anything else in here? Uh, access the statue, examine the sword. Uh, rotate the statue toward the hero holding the shield toward the Medusa. Rotate it toward the Medusa. He's already turned towards the Medusa. I think the Medusa ought to be turned facing the guy with a shield. Rotate the statue toward the hero holding the shield. And the guy with the... Um, The lantern toward the. Uh, hang on. Uh, toward the Medusa as well? No. Toward the hero. Holding the sword so he can see. toward the hero holding the shield so the Medusa can see her own reflection perhaps. If if there is no light then she won't be able to see anything. That could be it. Um, remember the Richer's message. What was the message? Let's see. My mother had written something on it, but it is not longer legible. Is that it? Hmm. No. We can't remember that. Uh, rotate the statue. Stand back. Return. Let's rotate the guy with the lantern as well. Again. Rotate toward the guy with a shield, yeah? If I respect the legend, I have to place the hero holding the shield in front of the Medusa. Except for here, it doesn't work. There must be something else. Yeah. Check the painting portrait again. again. Nothing. So I, I'm not quite sure what is supposed to happen here. Um, like a secret passage or something might open. I'm not sure. Um, 
Read the page in Latin. Difficulty three. Locked. Uh, let's let's check what what did uh, this devil's thorn do again? Temporarily reveals the immunities and vulnerabilities affecting a dialogue choice. Okay. Well, we're not doing dialogues right now, so. Hmm. I know this legend. Well, sorta. Examine the sword. Assess the statuette. Let's see. I wanna... If I'm going to assess any statue, I think it should be the one with the shield. Since we can't assess the, the Medusa. Handle the mechanism. Hmm. Think about the configuration. Well, think about the configuration. Logic. Let's think. To vanquish the beast, the statues have to be lined up in a specific order. What can this shield be for? To protect its holder? Why not? But in that case, what's the lantern for? Step back and take a second, Louis. Be logical, but open-minded. Think outside the box. Nobody said a statue has to have only one use. I wonder if the lantern was to distract the Medusa. This shield can both protect the holder and also reflect the light from the lantern to distract the beast. In other words, I'll have to make an angle of 90 degrees between the lantern and the Medusa by turning the shield to face the sword. If Mortimer's the one who thought of all this stuff, then honestly, he must have a screw loose. What? Crazy idea. But worth a shot. Uh, uh, excuse me? Why, why would the shield bearer face the sword man? Uh, okay. Passage. So at least I was right in that. <laughs> Rah! For Pete's sake, Emily! <laughs> you scared the pants off me. Don't ever do that again. Well, keep your nose out of my business then. I don't know what you're talking about. Stop fooling around and tell me what you're doing here. Um, dodge the question with humor. Answer with a question. That's what she always does, isn't it? She... let's see. She is immune to logics. Um... Wait, where can we find the characters? Oh, here. Um... Emily. Immune to logic. Vulnerable to psychology. Okay. Interesting. So, answer with a question. Dodge the question with humor. Um, let's give her a taste of her own medicine. Oh yeah? So tell me what you're doing here. I'm just... I mean, I... Yeah, just like me. Probably, but I asked the question first. <laughs> well then, we'll pretend you haven't asked me yet. What about a little gallantry, Louis? Come on, I'm listening. What are you doing here? Gallantry is for Englishmen. We're French. Um, say nothing. Oh, we can't do this. Uh, 
cat make a joke? And make a joke. I admit everything, madam. You win. I've been bitten by the same bug as you. I beg your pardon? We can't resist being where we shouldn't, seeking out our host's little secrets. So, we have that in common, right? I really thought you were going to answer me this time. Well, no matter. Nope. Sorry. I'll tolerate your presence this one time. <laughs> now, since you're here, make yourself useful. Look around on your side. I'll do the same on mine. And if you find anything of interest, let me know. Oh, yeah. In your dreams. At your service, madam. <laughs> Ooh. Gold. No. Oh, it's a golden fur. A golden fleece. It's freezing. Hurry up. Well, you're wearing kind of like a, a Kang Kang dress or a, like a Bordello dress from the early 20th century. It's hardly, well, neither warming nor contemporary with this time. Whoops. Shit. <laughs> I didn't realize that was. Uh, time thing. An unofficial gospel? You'd be more likely to find this kind of book at the Vatican. Nothing special. The library at Buckingham has three. <laughs> what a bragger. Has she read them? How did Buckingham get them all? Uh... I bet you've read them cover to cover. Naturally. Really? I'm curious. Tell me, what part stood out the most to you? The passage where Mary says to Joseph, Hey, you, shut up. Hey, In I... other words, you haven't even opened one. I thought she was vulnerable to log um, psychology. Okay. A drachma. Ugh, more coins. I'm getting over to your side now. You should see the sword, Emily. It's magnificent. I'm busy. Describe it to me. It's a sword. It's got a uh, sort of Joan of Arc, sort of King Arthur, sort of Genghis Khan. I think this is Excalibur, King Arthur's sword. I've always dreamt of drawing it from the stone. How sweet. You're still clinging to your boyhood dreams. <laughs> When you finished playing, maybe you can help me search the place? Hey, I'm searching here. Women. Um. Amber. Okay. Here's something interesting. A manor in Maine. Hundreds of acres of land in Catalonia. Properties in Shanghai. Incredible. Some of these deeds are over 600 years old and all signed by the hand of Mortimer. I wonder if that's what inspired my mother's attention. How come all these documents have Mortimer's signature on them? Do you think all these properties really belong to him? Uh, assume there are several Mortimers. Assume Mortimer is immortal. Falsification. Assume theft. Uh, falsification. These documents must be fakes. No man can own that many original works, no matter how rich he is. Be careful. The Order has tried many times to estimate his personal wealth without ever succeeding. And look here. Castles in Scotland, vineyards in Italy, districts in Venice. He's richer than some European countries. These documents are intriguing, but do you really think that's what attracted your mother's attention here? And how do you know my mother was interested in this room? I didn't know. I just supposed she was. And you just confirmed it. So, do you think she found what she came for? I don't know. She was obsessed with Mortimer, and I must confess, these property deeds are troubling. If that's the case, why would she have left them? Once again, I don't know. We'll have to ask her when we find her. And what's your take? What do you think of this collection? Why conceal these assets? How has it been acquired? How did Lord Mortimer get all this? It's just crazy. Secret connections, money, or a well-kept family treasure passed on from generation to generation. 
who knows? That would mean some of Mortimer's ancestors lived before Jesus was born. I wonder why my mother didn't make it clear what she was interested in here. She didn't have time to write it down, or maybe she wasn't sure of what she was looking for. Or she wanted to protect her discoveries. It's disturbing. You'll just have to search the rest of the room. Maybe you'll find something. Hmm. Okay, I'll start here. I <laughs> Where do I unzip this? Carry on searching. Okay. Uh, ooh. Caesar's crown. Guess what I found? The Holy Grail. Older than that. A piece of Noah's Ark. Not that old. <laughs> this could go on for hours. Just tell me. Caesar's laurel wreath. Uh, subterfuges. Um. Try the crown. Stop! Don't put your grubby fat fingers on it. You find my fingers fat? <laughs> At least put on some gloves. Please note, my fingers are slim. You were going to leave marks. My god, what an amateur. Many a harpsichord players would love to have sexy fingers like mine. Tell me where you <laughs> took your infiltration classes so I can have your tutor executed. Let's compare hands then. We'll soon see whose fingers are fattest. <laughs> no, I'm not going to compare hands with you. Let's just keep going. Bad loser. Is he talking about us or her? Not sure. Um... Ooh, bookshelf. Hey, Mortimer is the author of this work. He talks about his passion for art. Okay. What else? I I wish we could uh, go back to have a look at this far. Grieves me that I uh, botched that one. Um. Intoxicated. You have used four consumable items during a single quest or consumed a noxious element. Dialogue timer is no longer visible. Oh no, okay. Um, so we don't know anymore if we're on a timer or not. Use a golden elixir to cure yourself. Okay. Okay. Well. I found an amazing mm. ring. And there's an inscription engraved on it. Pretend to propose with a ring. Ask Emily about her marriage. Say nothing. Emily, when I see that ring, I can no longer hold back my feelings for you. Oh, stop it. You're being ridiculous. What do you mean? I was just about to get down on one knee. Um... See, a gentleman ought not run, they say, but uh, we are in a bit of a hurry. We don't know when uh, Mortimer might return. So, what's here on the uh, coin? No, Ooh, what is that you found? A cameo pendant. What's going on? Nothing for crying out loud, Emily. You lunge for that jewel like your life depended on it. Tell me what this is about. No. We just met, Louis. I like you, but I can't just suddenly open myself up like a book to you. Listen, Emily. It seems pretty obvious to me that you haven't come here for the sole purpose of sampling Mortimer's cellar. Stop all the clever evasions and just trust me. And why the hell should I place my <laughs> trust in you, Louis? Psychology. Because I don't want any harm to come to you. When are you going to understand that I just want to help you? What do you expect? That I'll fall into your arms and say yes to everything you want. Why not? What are you talking about? I'm only asking you to trust me a little. 
If only on principle, as a member of the Golden Order, for example. I'll admit, you are fairly reliable. That's it? I was expecting more. Well, I'm prepared to trust you when it comes to choosing a French cheese. But I've nothing to gain by confiding in you any further than that. Nothing to gain? Damn it, Emily! I'm only trying to help you. Stop needing to gain something all the time. Because you think I need help? Just like everyone. You have your strengths and your weaknesses. And there's no use pretending otherwise. Ha! And I bet you found out where I'm weak, haven't you? Oh, we have. Uh, a weakness in psychology, for sure. You think your scathing wit protects you, but in fact it makes you blind. No sooner have people introduced themselves than you already see them in a bad light. You play the part of a strong woman, and yes, you are a strong woman, of course. But what I see is a sensitive young lady who lacks self-confidence. Stop adopting a defensive posture and you'll see just how quickly new doors will open. There is some truth to what you say. Of I course. might have some weaknesses, but I don't need your help to overcome them. And I'm simply not contemplating collaborating with anyone at this time. Do you understand? She prefers to work alone. She likes to lead her investigation herself. She, um, uh, she already has a partner. Yes, it's perfectly clear. You're already working with someone. Ah, well spotted, Louis. Ha ha! I already have a work partner. I know my weaknesses. Oh, I don't Georgie doubt boy. that your abilities will be of use to me. But I already have all that, thanks to my teammate. Is there any chance you might tell me who he is? We know who he is. No, I've already said too much. Consider yourself lucky I've even given you this much. It's extremely rare, believe me. Come on, don't stop now that you've come this far. You know that eventually I'll end up making you talk. Well, since no one can resist you, <laughs> let's see if you can guess who my partner is. You're a gambler. So, your partner is... It's a man, and it's it's a woman, and it's, uh, it's a man. Her father, her old husband, a member of the Order. Chances are... You're working with a member of the Order. The only members of the Order, other than ourselves, are your mother and Mr. Washington. The former so has sadly Washington. gone missing. As for the latter, I knew nothing of his arrival. Incidentally, you must have noticed Darn how it. inefficiently our Order communicates internationally. So, uh... It's a man. Her father, her husband... Her father? Your father! The force of youth combined with the wisdom of ancestors. I never knew my father. And it would be better for him if I never do find him. Sorry. I thought you'd figured out I was an orphan. No. But please forgive me. I, I didn't know. Uh, so I... Uh, okay, let's do this. Remember how she was affected by the... Your sister. Cam She's your partner. She's the one you're looking for. Well, I am impressed. How the devil did you guess I had a sister? Virtually no one even knows. Uh, we just when spent some points. When it comes to getting results, you are very good. I grant you that. You deserve to know why the sight of the cameo pendant affected me so strongly. I thought it belonged to Emma, my twin sister. Oh. Oh. Now I get why you said you had a memory for two. Yes. You can't imagine to what extent, though. As children, everyone got us mixed up. So one day, we decided to play along. Since then, we have become one and the same. We have officially erased the identity of my sister Emma. Emily Hillsborough. The woman with two faces. Clever. But isn't it complicated? How do you make it work? One of us has no existence in the outside world. We share everything. First for one, then for the other. We dress the same, wear the same makeup, we speak the same. We've learned to act as one. When we accept a mission, we both turn up. This time, though, she went ahead, and I was meant to wait for her on the mainland. Okay. She was meant to meet Sir home and bring back the details, so we could work out who would follow up. And there was a problem? She was supposed to return from Mortimer's one week ago. The boat turned up at Plymouth, but alas, no trace so... of her sister. Instead, a sailor passed me a message from home, notifying me of her sudden disappearance. So, my mother and your sister go missing just a few days apart. That's strange. Maybe their disappearances are linked. It's clearly a possibility, but up to now I haven't found a trace of either of them. 
None of this is very reassuring. By the way, Louis, now that you are in on the secret, you are obliged to keep it to yourself. Or you will pay very dearly. Don't worry. <laughs> Your secret is safe with me. It's time to leave. So, that raises the obvious question, of course. Who was it we saw our mother kill? Was it Emily or Emma? Because uh, at the beginning of the, the game, when we saw that vision, we, well, I assumed that we saw we could look into the future. But uh, then we had another mm. vision so, where we saw. What do you think of our first adventure? Georgie boy, I must coming admit to our it room. has been fun by your side. Same here. And that wasn't in the future. Ooh. Oh, she's been drinking too much again. <laughs> Louis, I need to talk to you right now. Good evening, Elizabeth. Actually, this is not a good time. I'm begging nice you, please don't leave me alone. I'll be waiting for you in your room, but don't be late. Well, she turned me into a newt. I was sure there was a certain je ne sais quoi between us. Louis, we need to talk now, otherwise it'll be too late. Looks like Elizabeth really needs me, but if I start talking to her, for sure Emily won't wait for me. What yeah. should I do? Sure you just want to talk? Um... Okay, well, we, we can join Emily later. Sorry, Emily, but I can't leave Elizabeth like this. All right, Elizabeth. How can I help? Thank you. Come on, follow me. Because she's obviously in distress, so, uh, yeah. Well, Elizabeth, what was so urgent? For God's sakes, what happened in here? Uh, okay. I yeah, really she is a witch. I really need to talk to you, Louis, right now. Does Lord Mortimer know the mess you've made of your room? Listen to me, damn it! My days are numbered. Elizabeth! I don't know if it's about my mother again, but I'm telling you, you've nothing to be afraid of. She didn't come here for you. I saw her. Saw who? You saw my mother? When? Just last night. I went out to walk along the cliff top and I saw her in the distance. She tried to hide right away, but I'm sure it was her. Are you saying you recognized my mother in the middle of the night while she was hiding? Yes, Louis. I know it was her. You just said she was far away, right? In the middle of the night. And the exterior of the island isn't exactly well lit. Listen, I'm telling you, it was her. Uh, okay. Tat. Did you talk to each other? What? No, she was Darn far it. away. I I didn't make any noise, and then she was gone. Have right. you told anyone you've seen her? Sir Holm? Mortimer? You don't understand. It's her. She's here. Yes, I understand. No, you're not listening! The moment I saw her, I was overcome by spasms. She's here! I'm telling you, it was her! Yes, I need something to calm me down. <laughs> join one glass, refuse. Okay, we can join one glass. I'll drink with you, but let's go easy on it, okay? Know where she gets her rock cut from, but frankly, it's disgusting. <laughs> oh no, we've got poison. You know, Louis, when I came here, it was in the hope of getting help. I've only just now realized that I've been drawn here into a trap. Whoa, the alcohol's <laughs> gone oh, to my head. Oh no. Forget it. No, no, we're not drinking anymore. Here, the condemned's last drink. Uh, I'm right behind you. No, I'll stop here. Elizabeth, alcohol never solves anything. I'm going to stop now. Listen up. You want to know what your mother was capable of, right? You want to know the reason why? Well, you're going to have to follow me to the bottom of the abyss, Louis. Either drink 
or get out. What? Um. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm right behind you then. Man, I I need She's to take it take easy advantage with the booze. Of us. At this rate, I won't last the night. Let's go easy on the drinking, okay? Alcohol won't solve our problems. Ugh, the second one isn't any easier. So, do you want to know why she did all those things to me, or not? Even if it changes the image you have of her, forever? What was she trying to cure you of, then? Of the one illness she never managed to treat me for. Together till the end. Stop. It's too much for me. Uh, Come fine. on, Elizabeth. We have to finish what we started. Oh no! I feel all dizzy. There must have been a reason. Just tell me. Tell me what my mother treated you for. She wanted to silence them. What? What are you talking about? Silence what? The voices. The voices uh -huh. in my head. They speak to me, Louis. They've always told me what to do. They say nasty things to me. Uh, is she stark raving mad? Is she possessed? Let's uh, go Elizabeth, with possessed. Elizabeth, are, are you saying that that spirits talk to you? You're right. Sometimes there are several voices. How did you know? No, listen, I, I don't know anything. I, I'm just repeating what you said. They want me. Want me just for themselves. They talk to me all the time. Yet your mother did everything to make them go away. Ever since I was little. And look at the result! It's impossible, Mother. You spent your life trying <laughs> to prove that the supernatural doesn't exist. Why punish this poor girl? Oh, shit. What has she done to you? Uh-oh, Louis. Are you starting to believe me? No, but... <laughs> Too bad it's all been for nothing. They're still there, you know. What do you mean? They're still talking to you? All the time. Sixes Despite and sevens. Despite Sarah put me through, I still hear them. And here I am on a lost island, knowing that no one knows me. And I find myself here at the exact same time as her. You see? You understand? You sense it too. I'm going to die here. I beg you, tell me you believe me! Uh... Logical? Elizabeth, I understand your fears, but I'm convinced there has to be a rational explanation for all of this. It would just hurt you too much to believe me, wouldn't it? No, no, but... So difficult to get up in the morning and realize that you're the son of a monster. I'd rather not have met you. I'd rather not have been born. Oh, come on. It's too much already. <laughs> we God, don't even get to choose anymore. Possible? Welcome to my world, little Louie. Welcome to my life. Advise her to escape from the island. Advise her to stay here. Um, stay here. Let's not rush into things. You have nothing to fear here. I'm with you. And anyway, my mother's gone missing. You're not in any danger. That's not what the voices say. Listen to me. Don't give up. You must resist. And tomorrow, you'll see. Things will be better. You like my little concoction, don't you? That's rare. What? It no longer has any effect on me. But my guests generally don't appreciate me mixing alcohol with laudanum. Oh, that's what that was. What? You put laudanum in my drink? In both. Don't worry, my little Louie. We'll sink down to the bottom together. Oh, man. <laughs> I feel like puking. I really feel like shit. Uh, I gotta get back. Don't worry, Louie. I'm here now. I'll take good care of you. Uh-oh. <sighs> what is this bitch gonna do to me? Don't oh, touch me. He called her a bitch, Just too. Really... 
just if I get up and <laughs> fall. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> oh, little Louie's tired. Leave everything to me. Just use the trigger finger, man. Oh, what's she doing? Mademoiselle, may I come uh -oh. in? Ah, my head. I shouldn't have drunk so much. No, we shouldn't. But oh, she shit. tricked us, man. Oh no! Gorgon, success. I've resolved the enigma of the Medusa. I discovered Lord Mortimer's room where he hides his treasures. I found out that Emily was hiding something. I persuaded Emily to tell me a secret. I accepted to keep Elizabeth company, but failed. I had a few drinks with Elizabeth. Yeah, was that bad? <laughs> Alternate paths, I could have joined Emily in my room. That would have been so much more pleasant, I'm sure. Now in hindsight. Ah, oh dear. Okay. Okay, next. We have four points to uh, divide here. Um... And uh, read people's behavior like an open book. Linguistics. Translate all kinds of documents and conversations in foreign languages. That actually... We... Uh, I, I felt that we, we uh, could have benefited from that until now. Not, not just once, but twice or, or even three times perhaps. So that could definitely be one thing. Diversion. Um, let's get one there. And... Logics. Let's see. Vigilance. Questioning. Notice anything strange in someone. Yeah, yeah, let's get let's get one more there. So we have two. Level two reduces cost and effort points by three. Um, what's this then? Conviction. Convince people. With the sheer force of your will and your attitude. Politics. Benefit from a sound cultural background in the arts, geography, and history. Wait. Uh, rely on your knowledge of myths, occult, and religious symbols as well as ancient languages and secret societies. Does Latin count as an ancient language, you think? Manipulation. Let's get one there. But now, um... Emilia is, is dead. Hmm. can't check the, the characters. 
I was thinking the P Peru guy, what, what were his weaknesses? That was psychology too, right? Because logic, he was too dumb to, to uh, fall for logic, I think. Questioning Science Should we get started on science do you think? Oh we have science level one yeah. It's always difficult this um Let's uh, put one more in, in conviction, and then that will be that. Oh. And we lost our black eye. It healed. Miraculously. Okay, so uh, I wasn't expecting the this chapter to end here. Um, pff, bit disappointing, I must say. I want to get on with the, the story and see what happens. <sighs> okay. Let me know what you think of the game. And... Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, reading any comments. Thanks for watching. Oh, and uh, please remember to uh, like and subscribe. Check out some of my other videos if you want. Thank you.